Hey everybody, and welcome back to Frontend Expert. This video will be the introduction to the CSS Crash Course. CSS is the primary way to add styling to web pages. For example, we can use it to change the colors of text, layout elements on the page, or even create complex animations like you see throughout the Algo Expert website. What's great about CSS is the syntax is incredibly simple, so you could pick up the basics in a matter of minutes. However, the language still manages to support advanced features like animations and stacking elements along the three-dimensional z-axis. All that said, you will oftentimes hear developers complain about CSS, and yes, it can be incredibly frustrating to debug at times. But the reality is, CSS doesn't need to be that difficult. It was designed to be simple and easy to use, and the frustration of using it usually just comes from a lack of proper understanding of the language's core concepts, such as the box model used for layout, or stacking contexts, which are used to determine the order of elements on that z-axis. In this crash course, we will not just be going through a variety of CSS properties, but rather we will be diving deep into some of the more advanced and nuanced features of CSS to break all of these misconceptions. Developing this strong understanding of CSS is fundamental in both passing front-end interviews and becoming a productive front-end engineer. For the interviews, you could be asked to implement a real web page following some specification, and you would need this knowledge of CSS to do this quickly in the interview setting without getting stuck too long on any seemingly simple tasks like centering an element. Additionally, you could be asked more quiz-style questions about CSS, which the crash course should help you prepare for, and of course, you can also take the front-end expert quiz to gauge your knowledge and readiness for this style of question. That said, CSS isn't just important for the front-end interview. As a front-end engineer, you will need to be able to quickly assess the difficulty of implementing a design when you work with designers to give them feedback on the feasibility of their designs. Moreover, once you go to implement these designs, you will need this knowledge of CSS to do this efficiently and correctly. And finally, as your projects grow in size, you will want to make sure that you are following CSS best practices to avoid creating a code base that is impossible to maintain. And of course, we will discuss these best practices in the crash course as well. Okay, so with that, I hope this gives you a good idea of why CSS is so important to both the front-end interview and improving productivity as a front-end engineer. So let's get right into the crash course, and I'll see you in the next video.